The main aim of a castle was to add protection and defend important people or treasures. Castles were primarily defensive structures, and they were aimed to protect the local area at times. However, there were different methods used to do this. One of the most brutal parts of a castle was known as murder holes, and they certainly lived up to their name. At castles all around Britain, murder holes can be found inside of gatehouses, and they were aimed to make entering the castle a fearsome and barbaric thing. Join us today as we look at murder holes inside of castles, and as always, to support our channel, please subscribe to support the fortress. Murder holes were straightforward, and they were an important part of keeping attackers out of a castle. They were found in weaker parts of the structure, such as gatehouses, which formed entrances. Murder holes were also built along with machicolations high up on a castle's wall, and these were holes in which guards could drop all manner of things onto an attacking army, from heavy stones to hot liquid, such as boiling oil and water, and even hot sand, which would get in the parts of the armour and would cause terrible burns. But murder holes were more commonly found inside of gatehouses and entrances where a portcullis would also be. Other towers inside of castles have murder holes, and they were designed to rain down all manner of hell onto an enemy, should the outer gate of a castle have been breached. If an invading army was attacking through a main gatehouse, they then got to this part, then they could be trapped and blocked off from going further by a portcullis, which was then lowered from above the gatehouse. The invading army would also be forced to try and get past this, but they could be trapped by another portcullis behind them, which would create a killing field, in which attackers would have nowhere to go, and they would begin to panic. These passageways could be substantial, where attackers were trapped, and the defending army could then use murder holes and traps around the gatehouse to safely deal with the enemy. They could use the murder holes to throw all manner of things from above, but also fire arrows into the trap, and take down attackers with swords from other passageways, and they could use other weapons such as long spears. But from the murder holes, the guards from above could continue to throw horrific things, like the hot sand and boiling water mentioned earlier. Hot oil was also used sparingly, as it was more expensive, but they would then throw things like rotting animals and even human excrement onto those trying to breach a castle's walls, and those behind the murder holes were relatively safe. One of the greatest examples of a medieval gatehouse with murder holes is the King's Gate at Carnarvon Castle, which had two drawbridges, six portcullis and five doors. This was aimed to create as many traps for the attacking Welsh forces as possible, so the guards could defend from attacks easier using this strategy. It's said that even five portcullis could be lowered to even trap soldiers at different points. The guards could then easily navigate their way around the castle, using the ramparts, linking the different towers to help them defend easier. Also built into the walls of specifically Carnarvon Castle's gatehouse are a number of spy holes, for guards to keep a very close eye on who enters and leaves the castle. Murder holes were even used in the town's walls and in town gateways to help put off invading armies. Some castles around Europe even had more sophisticated defensive elements, such as cunning traps in concealed and expected places, and hidden pits in the floors, and even dead-end staircases or secret passages like mentioned earlier, when guards could run in between to deal with intruders whilst the attackers were unaware. Murder holes or the arrow loops were intended to also be tricks, as they would let fresh air and light come in. However, behind the murder hole it was relatively impossible to see where the attacker was and how to get to them. This would allow the guards to move between murder holes with relative ease, and the attackers would not know where the next lethal arrow or lethal blow would come from. But the murder holes could be found around the Barbican, a fortified outpost above a gatehouse, which was used at times to lower a portcullis or a drawbridge. At Warwick Castle there is a Barbican, above which allowed guards to trap attackers, then create a killing space where they could fire from above, whilst they were in relative safety. But murder holes were a terrifying part of a castle, but they were incredibly effective. Castle builders took great time to plan these defences, and there were attempts made by attackers to breach castles, and some would even be lured into the castle, and they would be attacked via murder holes. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.